the area that it is. When you say nails, just to the place that the nails are. And even if you don't remember all these body parts, that's fine. Whatever parts that you can remember, just think about it. And while walking, you can do this. While lying down on the bed, you can just think about it. So then you are sending a message to our mind, this body is a thing like this. It is made out of these four great elements, nothing more. So that will help you to remove the ego that you have. Right, so now we are going to talk about mindfulness of feeling. Right. Can we avoid feeling? Feeling. feeling, yes. Now when he talks here about mindfulness of feeling, does he talk about the bodily feeling or the mental feeling? Hmm? Mindfulness of feeling. Here he is, what does he talk about? Hmm? Yes, not this bodily feelings that we have. Not those. Now we have aches, right? Aches and pains. <laughs> now if we, if we have a body, we will have those things. There will be aches and pains, right? But now especially he is talking about these emotions, mental feelings. And mainly he says there are three kinds of feelings. Pleasant feelings, unpleasant feelings and neutral feelings. Right, now how does these feelings arise in us? Do you know? Because of what? Sometimes memories. Oh, no. Yes. That's right. What we think, how we view things. Right. So now, feeling, pleasant, unpleasant, neutral. So he says this feeling arises in us because of a contact. Now just, just see, right? But you all can understand. Just try to see. Now this feeling, either it will be a neutral feeling, pleasant feeling or unpleasant feeling. Whatever feeling that arises in you arises because of a contact. Hmm? What are the five cents? Uh, sight, hear, sight, touch, smell, best. Huh? Uh, it's because of the contacts of seeing, the contact of yeah. hearing, the contact of seeing. Right. So how many contacts are there? Six. Six or five? What do you mean by contacts? Right, I will explain, right. So, so first thing, feeling arises because of contact. The next thing is how many contacts are there? There are six contacts. So what is a contact now? So what is a contact? Right, the six contacts are eye contact, ear contact, nose contact, tongue contact. What are the other two? Mind, mind, mind contact and the body contact. So what is a contact means? Contact means meeting of three is a contact. There should be three things for a contact to happen. So for eye contact to happen, there should be three things there. Ear contact to happen, there should be three things. Nose contact, there should be three things. Tongue, body, mind, there should be three things there for a contact to happen. Right, 
So meeting of three is a contact. So for eye contact to happen, there should be three things. So what are those three things? Object. Hmm? Object. Right, one is there should be an external object. What is? Eye. eye. There should be a working eye. Right. What's the other one? Perception. Hmm? Perception. No. Perception also arises because of a contact. Mind. Consciousness. Consciousness. That's the English word that we we'll are yeah, using, right? Consciousness means now the Pali word is vinyane. Now, consciousness is not like being in a conscious state. At that time, the mind should be connected with the eye. That consciousness, not, not just the consciousness. For example, right? Okay, right. So those three things, if there are those three things, there is a contact, eye contact. There should be a working eye, external object, and the mind should be connected with this eye. That consciousness, there should you should have that consciousness. So when those three things are there, there is a contact. When there is a contact, When there is a contact, you will see things. Without a contact, you will not see things. What else will happen when there is a contact? What else arises when there is a contact? No, no, I am talking about, now remember, we are talking about the eye now, right? We are talking about the eye contact. Eye, external object, we call it eye consciousness, means the mind is connected with this eye. So when there is a contact, you will see, right. Uh, for an example, about this eye consciousness, right. Suppose you are in a deep thought now, right. So then this, there is no eye consciousness there. What happens is sometimes people might walk in front of you, you will not see that person. You say, I didn't see that person. The mind was not connected with the eye. So, eye consciousness was not there. Ear also, it's the same. There should be a working ear, there should be a sound, and there should be ear consciousness. But here, he, when he says eye consciousness, ear consciousness, tongue consciousness, it is the same consciousness. It's not different consciousnesses, it's the same one arises in different places. It will be in different places. So if the eye, ear consciousness is not there, you will not hear. You are in a deep thought. Sometimes people might talk to you, you might not hear them, right? You say, I didn't hear that. Because the mind was not connected with the ear. So that part is clear, right? So meeting of three, contact, Right. When there is a contact, when there is eye contact, you will see. What is arises when, when there is eye contact? No, the, these are little bit deep, right? <laughs> is it hard? Perception also arises. What else? Interpretation. It's, it's like perception, about how you look at these things, right? When there's a contact, feeling arises. Without a contact, feeling will not arise in you. Perception, volitional formations arise in you, means thoughts. Without a contact, thoughts, you will not have thoughts. You will not have this perception, identify things. You will not have feelings. And if if, the, if it is the eye contact, you will not see things, if there is no contact. Right. For an example, I am looking at this cup. So, 
so I can see this cup because of eye contact if there's no eye contact I will not see this cup so when I see this cup I will have a feeling right either I will have a happy feeling the cup is white nice I'm happy or I will have a an unpleasant feeling I don't like this cup or I will have a neutral feeling the feeling arose because of this contact what else I will identify oh this is a cup because of contact what else I will think now cup is white I like a blue color cup thoughts will arise in me because of what the contact does it make sense right so now feeling right feeling arises because of this contact this contact is it a permanent thing or impermanent thing impermanent. why is it impermanent <laughs> because those three things what are those three things the eye the object and the eye consciousness those three things are also impermanent those are not permanent things now I am not going to go deep into how this eye is impermanent today if you want I can do that right? <laughs> but I'm not let's see right <laughs> if you want I can teach that also but just keep in mind that simply understand this I'm looking at this and now I'm looking at this watch my eye changed right so here what now normally we know this eye is impermanent we say we know that this eye it decays right it grows old right impermanent right so now when I'm looking from here when I'm looking at this what happened to my eye did it grow old No. What do you think? Yeah. Yes, every second it grows old, right? Every second it decays. But that's not only there. That's only the what you call the physical part that we can see about the eye. There's an internal part also. So now let's see if we have time we'll talk about that internal part later. Now just keep in mind every second this eye is changing. So when I'm looking at this and when I'm looking at this, my eye changed. It's not the same eye that I'm having. Actually, it's because it is the eye is formed from name and form. So let's see if we have time, we'll talk about that, right? Just keep in mind, the eye, will ch eye is changing. The object did change or not? The object changed, right? It was this, now it is this. Now it's a different object. Consciousness also changed. So when those three things changes, contact will change. What will happen to the feeling? Will it be the same? Feeling also changes. What else changes when the contact changes? Perception. Perception changes. What else? Thoughts also changes. Virginal formation all these things are changing when the contact changes right you are going going to work you will see a person that you like now you can see this person because of what contact eye, eye contact now the contact is pleasant because of you like that person feeling will be pleasant feeling you will have you will have a, what you call a perception, right? Then you will have good thoughts. Now normally what happens, we get attached to this feeling. And we think, I, this, this feeling is me, mine. I can control this feeling. And when you, if you have that mindset, you always want to have these happy feelings. Right? 
then now you will see that person that you like okay now then after that now you have this happy feeling in you after some time you will see a person that you don't like now you saw that person also because of the eye contact then what will happen to the feeling it will change you will have an unpleasant feeling you will have volition, volitional formations thoughts about that so all these things are changing when the contact changes but what happens when there's an unhappy feeling we get attached to that feeling and think this is me this is mine i can control this feeling what happens you will react according to that feeling and we have happiness or sadness we suffer because of that so in mindfulness of feeling what we do is we mindfully observe the feeling but without getting attached to the feeling so we have to look at this as a third person now all this is dependent origination right because of a cause this will arise in us so when there's a happy feeling we have to we don't we should not think like this okay i am happy this is mine this is my happiness without thinking like that you have to think there is a feeling there's a conditional feeling here now because of a contact now i have a so first it's a pleasant feeling you must think okay now there's a pleasant feeling here because of pleasant contact and it arose because of maybe eye contact now you are not going behind the feeling you are looking how this feeling arose in you okay now i have this happy feeling because of eye contact and you observe this feeling you know that okay this feeling is there so after some time when the contact changes the feeling will change now you know okay now i have this feeling a sad feeling because of this contact you are not getting attached to the feeling now you observe the feeling so what happens after some time again this fe- that feeling will change again you observe the feeling so when you do this thing this meditation there will be a time what happens you will clearly see this feeling is always changing when the contact changes and you will see that there's no point getting attached to this feeling because it is bound to change when the contact changes so when there's a sad feeling normally what happens we get attached to that sad feeling right and we will think about that i'm sad and you will react to that feeling without doing that what you have to do is there's a feeling here born out of maybe eye contact and you have this mindset now it is bound to change when the contact changes so when you have that mindset you will see this feeling is always changing when the contact changes and there will be a time that you will not be attached to this feeling because you know that there's no point getting attached to this feeling because it is bound to change <coughs> now it's like this don't try to do it 24 hours right <laughs> just take 15 minutes and observe the feelings the feelings that you are having and see whether it's born out of what contact and see whether it is changing when the contact changes you will clearly see that it's changing right now see now suppose now someone said something bad you got sad now you have this unpleasant feeling what is the contact there ear contact right yeah. right now you are sad you you will go home and think about this and again you will feel sad now what's the contact there hmm there is no contact hmm there is no contact there is a contact without a contact there is no feeling that is mind contact so what is mind contact means 
in a contact three things you should have so what is mind contact what are those three things mind thoughts mind consciousness now remember mind is a separate thing thought is a separate thing mind consciousness is a separate thing these are not same things so if these are the same things what happens now see we have memories right where are those memories it's in the mind so mind is a separate thing so in this mind these thoughts arises it is it's it we will identify those thoughts from the mind consciousness if those are the same things you won't be able to do this thing you won't be able to replace your memories if the mind and the memory is the same the thoughts are the same so those are separate things so now if when you go and think about something and there if there's a feeling that is the mind contact early suppose now at work suppose someone did something someone hit you we have this now bad bodily feeling right body contact we are sad now that was the body contact now what happens you will go home and think about this now the bodily pain is not there now that is the mind contact there suppose at work someone will say something nice you will be happy right what was the contact there the ear contact you will go home and think about it this person said this he's a nice person you will be happy right you will have this happy feeling what's the contact there not the ear contact the mind contact so he says this contact arises because of this feeling so the feeling arises because of this contact and feeling will change when the contact changes and he says so when we are practicing this mindfulness of feeling so there is pleasant unpleasant neutral feelings there are worldly feelings and spiritual feelings we are divided into another two groups worldly pleasant feelings spiritual pleasant feelings worldly unpleasant feelings spiritual unpleasant feelings worldly neutral feelings spiritual neutral feeling so what is a worldly pleasant feeling tasty eh? tasty oh yes now means now if you see something nice you will have a happy feeling right that is because of you saw something right a thing that comes on a worldly you will hear something now nice you will taste something or smell or a tactile sensation those five things so if you hear nice song right is a worldly pleasant feeling now that sound <laughs> i don't know or worldly unpleasant feeling what do you think <laughs> now then because of that sound are you happy are you having a happy feeling or unpleasant feeling tell me now hmm? or neutral feeling what's the feeling happy. so that is a worldly happy feeling born out of what contact ear yeah. contact yes right that's a worldly right so what is a uh, what is spiritual happy feeling pleasant feeling means out of these sense pleasures now this sound is the sense pleasure right so out of out of these sense pleasures means you are trying to meditate you are doing breathing meditation and your mind will get concentrated and i told you that there will be a time when you come to that stage a, a happy feeling will arise in you now that feeling will arise in you not because of these sensual pleasures that is something internal that that is a spiritual pleasant feeling so what's a spiritual unpleasant feeling so you are doing this breathing meditation it's not working mind is going here and there now you are sad that is a spiritual unpleasant feeling 
and there will be there will be spiritual neutral feelings also so any questions right now it is like this now so uh, we will do a guided meditation on this mindfulness of uh, feeling but you all don't have to do it like that just to train your mind we will do it like this today what you have to do is in your day to day activities when you have a feeling observe the feeling that's what you have to do there is no special place or time to do this mindfully observe the feelings that you are having you have to observe whether it is a pleasant or unpleasant or a neutral feeling and whether it arose because of eye contact ear contact nose contact tongue body or mind contact and whether it is a spiritual feeling or a sensual feeling observe it okay you know okay this is sensual happy feeling i am having keep that in mind and you will see how this sensual happy feeling pleasant feeling changes when the contact changes normally what happens yes so don't even go into why why means why do you have that feel you are having just, that feeling because of a contact yeah yes but i mean in terms of because the object was pleasant that's a pleasant thing i'm looking at that's right so leave that alone just observe the fact that i'm having a feel no no and name that feel there's nothing wrong knowing that so if the contact is pleasant you should have the idea that because of pleasant object i am having this pleasant contact that's fine you should you should have that idea if the object is unpleasant you will have unpleasant feel because the contact is unpleasant but we have to keep in mind this feeling is always changing when the contact changes simile he gives it's like a water bubble he says when rain drops fall in water you will there's water bubbles right what happens when another rain drop falls there that water bubble will blast off and another bubble will rise right feelings right like, like that he says always changing when the contact changes yes so if you have a sense contact and if you sorry if you have a certain sense contact okay so like let's say i smell chicken cooking yes and i like that smell yes. so i get a pleasant feeling right. then it reminds me of my grandmother who passed away right. and it gets an unpleasant feeling and i feel sad right is that two two different feelings from the same contact or does it change two contacts there yeah. <coughs> right one was the nose contact right. the other one was the mind contact oh so then the the my the the nose contact changes to a feeling uh changes to a mind yes because you are it thinking about your feeling. you are thinking about your grandmother now there the mind the thought arose in the mind and it was identified from the consciousness and you had this sad feeling so two contacts there and this happens instantly not like the when there there's a contact then the feeling will happen when there's a what a perception then there's the thought it's not like that when there's a contact instantly all these things happen so the, the nose contact brought about a memory another right but it's two separate things two separate contacts feeling arose arose because of two contacts happy feeling because of the nose contact sad feeling because of the mind contact. any questions was it hard to understand this yeah. hmm given my just keep in mind if there is a feeling the feeling arose in me because of a contact and i mean if you practice this you can clearly see this try and do it 15 minutes every day you will clearly see how this feeling changes when the contact changes and it will make you happy actually because when you see these feelings are changing because of a contact you will see that there's no self in them what's the point getting attached this feeling and suffering you will have that happiness in you so yeah suppose you are outside and it's hot right so what's the feeling you have hot and you have this sad feeling born out of what contact 
body contact, right? But if you're mindful, okay, this contact, this feeling will change when the contact changes. But now what we what we will do is we will think about the sun. There is no trees here, right? No shade. There is no shade. We should put something here. We will think like that, right? That's not we have what we have to do. We have to change the way we think. We have to think about the contact there. The feeling will change when the contact changes. But that unpleasant feeling will be there. Wanna, I don't want to train my mind to stay. All right. Oh, you know, I'm petting my cat. My cat is, uh, you know, I can either go with that moment of enjoying petting the cat or start thinking a mind contact. Oh, he's 17. He's going to die. You know, and I'm going to be destroyed. You know, I mean, you know, but or I can just say, hey, stay here now. Pet the cat. That's fine. He's not dead. You know, you know, or I can continue the, uh, an unwholesome or what or go down a road that's going to make me unhappy in my mind contact i can feed that oh he's that you know uh, he's very sick he's this i can i can continue making myself unhappy in that feeling or change my mind contact back to the sensory one pet the cat he's okay. not dying now okay you know? oh, yes it means like you will think that he will die in the future right yeah. Something like that. Or I can either go there and That's see that, ruminate on that. You have to be in the present moment. What? You what have to be present? in the present moment. But it doesn't mean that like, you are not aware that all these things are impermanent. That's a separate thing. But in the present moment, it's fine, right? Right. So that we have to look at this contact and not the how this ar arose in me without getting attached to the feeling. We should not get attached to this feeling. Normally, what happens, we get attached to this feeling, right? And we do bad things because of this attachment to this feeling and thinking, this is me. Now, it doesn't mean that you will not enjoy the feeling. You will be able to enjoy the feeling, but you know that this feeling is something that will change. Suppose you are listening to music, right? A nice music. A song, you are very happy, <laughs> right? You are very happy, <laughs> right? <laughs> you are very happy. What you have to do is, that's fine. But you should know, okay, now I have this happiness because of this contact. This contact will change. And I will, I will not have this feeling. You have to have that mindset in you. Suppose someone will come and change the channel. Now there's something else. You will mentally not suffer. Because the feeling will change. Mentally, you will not suffer. That's why the, this mental suffering that we have, we can remove it. We can avoid it. Now, f you know there are two kinds of pains, right? The physical pain and the mental pain, right? Mm -hmm. But this mental pain, we can avoid it. It's possible. Physical, we, if there's a body, you will physically suffer. Now he says, you have to be mindful about your body, he says. The, this is the thing that is subject to old age, sickness, death. Suppose next you will go to the doctor, next time when you go to the doctor, he will say you have cancer. If you were not mindful that this body is a thing that is subject to illnesses, that person will mentally suffer, right? Before the physical pain comes, he will mentally suffer. But that mental suffering we can avoid if you are mindful about this change in nature. And it doesn't mean that you will not treat the illness that you have. You will, you will try to make it better. But the mental suffering you can avoid. Does it make sense? So the feeling, we cannot avoid feeling. Either you will have a happy feeling or a, a pleasant feeling or an unpleasant feeling or a neutral feeling out of sense pleasures or spiritual there it will be there only thing that we can do is we will not we will we will be able to not perhaps we will not uh, get attached to it and we can avoid suffering because of that attachment is it hard hmm? <laughs> what do you think 
small steps. Now that's why I don't think oh, I have to do this, that. Not like that. Take small steps. Okay, if I'm 15 minutes, I will observe my feelings. Don't try to do this overnight. Then only you will get stressed out. I, how, I, how am I going to do this now? <laughs> Don't think like that. Small steps. 15 minutes, I will do this and see what happens. Then 30 minutes. Observe the feeling. Small steps. Every day if you do this, you will be able to do this. So, uh, shall we do this? Uh, I will guide you this meditation, this meditation, uh, this mindfulness of feeling. But you all don't have to do it like that. Just to train your mind, I will do this today. What you have to do is, when you are doing your day-to-day -day activities, just be mindful. Because you know now how this feeling arises in you, because of this contact. So the way we have to think, I will just do it now. And uh, let's see how it works. So find a comfortable meditation posture. Now, with a bring your attention to the present moment. With a calm mind, look at your sitting posture. Now try to think about the feelings in this way. Worldly pleasant feelings that arose based on sense pleasures in the past arose due to contact and ceased when the contact changes. Therefore, it was impermanent, impermanent, impermanent. Worldly pleasant feelings that arose based on sense pleasures in the past was not me, not mine, not myself. Worldly pleasant feelings that has arisen based on sense pleasures in the present has arisen due to contact and ceases when the contact ceases. Therefore, it is impermanent, impermanent, impermanent. Worldly pleasant feelings that has arisen based on sense pleasures in the present 
is not me, not mine, not myself. Worldly pleasant feelings that will arise based on sense pleasures in the future will arise due to contact and will cease when the contact changes. Therefore, it is impermanent, impermanent, impermanent. Worldly pleasant feelings that will arise based on sense pleasures in the future is not me, not mine, not myself. Worldly pleasant feelings that arose based on worldly unpleasant feelings that arose based on sense pleasures in the past arose due to contact and ceased when the contact ceased. Therefore, it was impermanent, impermanent, impermanent. Worldly unpleasant feeling that arose based on sense pleasures in the past was not me, not mine, not myself. Worldly unpleasant feeling that has arisen based on sense pleasures in the present has arisen due to contact and cease when the contact ceases. Therefore, it is impermanent, impermanent, impermanent. Worldly unpleasant feeling that has arisen based on sense pleasures in the present is not me, not mine, not myself. Worldly unpleasant feeling that will arise based on sense pleasures in the future will arise due to contact and will cease when the contact ceases. Therefore, it is impermanent, impermanent, impermanent. Worldly pleasant feeling that will arise based on sense pleasures in the future is not me, not mine, not myself. Worldly neutral feeling that arose based on sense pleasures in the past arose due to contact and ceased when the contact ceased. Therefore, it was impermanent, 
impermanent impermanent worldly neutral feeling that arose based on sense pleasures in the past was not me not mine not myself worldly neutral feeling that has arisen based on sense pleasures in the present has arisen due to contact and cease when the contact ceases therefore it is impermanent 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 world neutral feeling that has arisen based on sense pleasures in the present is not me not mine not myself worldly neutral feeling that will arise based on sense pleasures in the future will arise due to contact and will cease when the contact ceases therefore it is impermanent 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 worldly neutral feeling that will arise based on sense pleasures in the future is not me not mine not myself spiritual pleasant feeling in the past arose due to contact and changed when the contact changed therefore it was impermanent 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 spiritual pleasant feeling that arose was not me not mine not myself spiritual feel pleasant feeling that has arisen in the present has arisen due to contact and ceases when the contact ceases therefore it is impermanent 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 spiritual pleasant feeling that has arisen in the present is not me not mine not myself spiritual pleasant feeling that will arise in the future will arise due to contact and cease when the contact ceases therefore it is impermanent 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 spiritual pleasant feelings that will arise in the future is not me not mine not myself spiritual unpleasant feeling that arose in the past arose due to contact and ceased when the contact ceased therefore it was impermanent 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 
spiritual unpleasant feeling that arose in the past was not me not mine not myself spiritual unpleasant feeling that has arisen in the present has arisen due to contact and ceases when the contact ceases therefore it is impermanent 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 spiritual unpleasant feeling that has arisen in the present is not me not mine not myself spiritual unpleasant feeling that will arise in the future will arise due to contact and will cease when the contact ceases therefore it is impermanent 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 spiritual unpleasant feeling that will arise in the future is not me not mine <coughs> not myself spiritual neutral feeling that arose in the past arose due to contact and ceased when the contact ceased therefore it was impermanent <coughs> impermanent impermanent spiritual neutral feeling that arose in the past was not me not mine not myself spiritual neutral feeling that has arisen in the present has arisen due to contact and ceases when the contact ceases therefore it is impermanent 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 spiritual neutral feeling that has arisen in the present is not me not mine not myself spiritual neutral feeling that will arise in the future will arise due to contact and will cease when the contact ceases therefore it is impermanent 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 spiritual neutral feeling that will arise in the future is not me not mine not myself all unpleasant feelings that arise due to causes are impermanent 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 all unpleasant feelings that arise due to causes are not me not mine not myself all pleasant feelings that arisen due to cause are impermanent 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 all pleasant feelings that arisen due to cause are not me not mine not myself all neutral feelings that aris arise due to cause are impermanent 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 all neutral feelings 
that arises due to causes are not me, not mine, not myself. So now think that you are going to stop this meditation and gently open your eyes. So now, so we just did that to train our mind to think in this way. You don't have to just, if you just recite this, it will not work like that. Just re <laughs> some people think like that, reciting is, that's it, right? That's wrong. Some people when they recite think, okay, now I'm meditating. This is just training the mind. He's not meditating. Meditating means, take 15 minutes, mindfully look at the feeling. See how it arises. What's the cause? See how it changes. That is mi mindfulness. This is just thinking. But we have to have this way of thinking. We have to know how to think, right? So first we have to give that message to our mind and we have to practice this. So any questions from this feeling, yes? On, on breath meditation, we focus on breath. Uh, for the main object, right? On breath is the meditation breath. object. Right. But on, I think, Vedana Nupasana, yes. so on this one, yes. I think uh, the, the main focus is on feeling. Feeling, but not bodily feeling. Oh. Mental feeling, either is pleasant, unpleasant or neutral feeling. Not bodily aches and pains. So, so just focus on the mental feeling, what is arise, what is... Like it's like this now, to do this Vedana Nupasana, this mindfulness of feeling, mm -hmm. you don't have to sit on a cushion and close your eyes and do this. Suppose you are at work, mm -hmm. someone will say something, you will have this unpleasant feeling. Now you have to think, okay, without getting attached to the feeling and saying something in return, observe the feeling and see okay I have this unpleasant feeling because of ear contact and this ear contact is bound to change when this ear contact changes this worldly unpleasant feeling will change that's it that's what you have to do observe that so then you will see you are not getting attached to the feeling and you are not doing anything with the feeling now you are just observing the feeling then you will see the feeling is changing when the contact changes then there will be a time, others will say bad things to make you angry, you will not get angry. And people will look at you and say, this person, something is changed. He is not getting angry. Why is that? Because we are being mindful. So any other questions from this? No? Shall we take a 10 minutes break? <laughs> you want a break? No? Five minutes?